Hallelujah. So welcome to Success Business and Leadership School. Yesterday I was going through the remaining parts of the curriculum and um, I've tried to make one or two adjustments so that no matter what happens, by the end of next month we should finish. So I have five Sundays to finish this. So make sure you don't miss any of it. And don't forget that you have to be present for all the classes to qualify for graduation and qualify for my special gifts. That is a special surprise. So I don't want what happened last year to happen where people will be arguing I was there, I was not there. So make sure you do the necessary registrations so that we'll have you registered. Amen. Uh, so before we went on break for the convention or the conference, we went into module 7 and in module 7 we started looking at finance no romance without finance started looking at money matters and then we spent time extensively to be able to <clears throat> establish the fact that when it comes to the issue of relationship and marriage there are many reasons why people face crisis in their relational life and there are five top reasons for relational crises and family crises and we looked at five of them which is communication sex money in-laws third parties and unrealistic expectations and we said that when we look at the top three reasons for marital or relational crisis money ranks as one of the top three today we want to go a step further as we continue on this financial model to establish the fact that there are a lot of problems that people have when it comes to the issue of money. Uh, because many people don't understand the different aspects of money problems that exist. And today we want to begin to look at that and see if we can um, finish that and move on to other aspects of this model. Now there are seven major money problems that I want to share with us for us to be able to have clarity and understanding. Because many times the only money problem that people have is that they don't have money. <laughs> but people don't realize that even having too much money can be a problem so the first money problem is what I call too much money too much money someone will feel that I like that kind of problem <laughs> may, may you not see if, <laughs> uh, too much money and you begin to ask yourself how can too much money be a problem there are many temptations you are not facing now because you don't have money there are many challenges that are not coming into your life right now because you don't have money. Many of you don't have a car now. If you find yourself in a traffic and the traffic is too much, you can come down from the bus and take a bike or take my But if you are in a car, hello, and you are driving, I went to do a training for a company in Songutedo on Thursday. My wife just said, since you just came back from traveling, let my driver carry you. Thank God I didn't reject the offer. <laughs> Me that like driving myself, listening to message. I said, ah, that would be good. Let's look at We had to and fro. Driving was 8 hours 22 minutes in Lagos. To and fro. Driving, you know. I want to lose a kitty. Eight hours. The training was four hours. Driving to and fro was 8 hours 21 minutes. How do you explain that inside Lagos? Now, imagine that I was driving. Now, imagine that. You know, so, many of you don't realize that, oh, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want that. Many of the things you are wanting, it comes with its own issues. New levels, new devils. You that is looking for money for house rent, will you have money to carry side chick to Dubai? Have you even got to, do you even have passports? To talk about. so there are problems that too much money a lot of people the reason why they come late to church is too much money is it not why you have 72 clothes that you'll be confused about what to wear <laughs> say ah what am i going to wear you are there for 30 minutes that wardrobe becomes your confusion and your bondage because there's too many clothes but somebody that has only two trousers three shirts or more you just arrange yourself <laughs> too much money can be a problem hello a, a, a disastrous event took place in an eyebrow school in Ikoi and the entire school 
experience what they never thought they could experience you know when you go to do school run and pick children and cars are lined up and then this boy held everybody captive what was the problem when they were going to school in the morning the driver took him to school in, with a prado toyota prado and he told the driver when you are coming back to pick me come with the range rover oh. seven year old boy come with range rover to pick me oh. don't bring this prado back to pick me oh. when it was closing time the driver came back with prado and the guy said i am not going I will not enter this car. Did I know? He said, look, I went on errand. I couldn't go back home to pick another car. So let's go. The car is car. He said, you can't tell me that. I told you to bring Range Rover. I'm not going anywhere. The entire school was on stance. The teacher came. He said, no, ma. I told him to bring Range Rover. Headmistress came. No, ma. Ah. They said, we'll call your father. He said, call him. They called the father. And the father said, what was he say? I told him. He said, after, he said, okay, give the phone to the, after he said, dad, I'm not going. I'm not going. I told him. I, 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 ah. They now gave the phone to the father. The, to the, he said, give the phone to the driver. He now told him, don't worry, leave him. Come back and carry the Range Rover. Can't you see that both the father and the son needs to be slapped? <laughs> but what is the problem? Too much money too much money that is why we are raising sadists as children people that have ever never had no in their life because when you have money and you don't have wisdom you will not say no where you're supposed to say no and a lot of people have raised children that have never had no so they are sadists they fight authority they rebel against anything it's like how dare you tell me no a young man committed suicide in one of the private universities in Nigeria. Is he committed or attempted? Show attempt. Show kukwapa, kukuna. The boy, he didn't die. Attempted. So attempted suicide because a girl told him no. So how can you tell me no? No, me, no, who, me? Say, girl, give her six inches. <laughs> well, we have collected 12 inches, 34 inches. But that's what happens. Too much money too much money a family sent their 12 year old boy they went on a school excursion to south africa and the excursion was all expenses paid hotel feeding everything yet they gave a 12 year old boy four thousand dollar say whole lamb in case oh four thousand dollar in case 12 year old boy in case you need to buy anything it was that singular one week journey and too much money that made the guy to discover that there's something called drugs that you can buy because when you don't have money there are some drugs you can't afford some of you even when you are sick you have to believe god because you don't have money to go to hospital <laughs> you have to release your faith because you don't have money to go to hospital so too much money is a problem it's a problem and many people don't understand this aspect of too much money you don't understand the kind of headache that some people are going through because of too much money i hope you know that when you have too much money you don't know who your true friends are many of you can vouch for yourself that this is my g but when you have money you can't say that because you don't know why people are surrounding you when you have too much money there are problems that come with too much money that you have no idea of when you are not having too much money so as you begin to grow in the journey of life one of the reasons why we go through this series is to make you understand the past present and future possibilities of life some of these things may not be useful now many of you may think ah is that if i make i even get too much money mm. so that when you finally get it in my book the school of money i have an entire chapter on the dangers of success because it's a concept that many people don't understand they don't understand that when you are not successful there are some problems you will never have the very minute you become successful there are some dangers that come with success when you see a lot of people that you say oh eh, eh, why, why is it that when they became politician or when they got to ask so long that's when they change why is it that when the person became rich they change no most of the time what is inside is amplified by riches so it's not that they change it's because what was inside that poverty could not allow when money came money allowed it so they were just manifesting who they have always been that poverty stopped them from manifesting number two too little money 
you are used to that one I don't need to waste too much time on that you can you, you are, many of you are even a professor in that one so you understand that one so let's go to number three because I don't need to waste time on too little money you know what that means number three waste of money is a money problem waste of money there are only three things you can do with money you can spend it you can waste it you can invest it foolish people waste money average people spend money wise people invest money so a lot of people are where they are today because there are a lot of wastes in their life so many waste 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 i was speaking at the conference in the u.s yesterday virtual conference <laughs> this world in fact I, I i had to go to the lounge where in the hotel to do that and i was they were doing praise worship doing everything <laughs> so it was 6 p.m to 8 p.m american time which is 11 p.m to 1 a.m nigerian time when i finish after one morning we got church in all at the <laughs> it's like we are going to church <laughs> praise god now listen and listen well waste of money and i was talking to them about the fact that a lot of you have wasted a lot of opportunities when you got a house you got a mortgage and they told you oh, the money the house has appreciated you can pull out equity you pulled out equity of 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. But what did you use it to do? You went on a boat cruise. And now, devil is cruising your life. You went on boat cruise, you bought furniture. And now, you can't furnish your destiny. So, we need to understand that many of us, if you look back at your life, you have wasted money. So, when I say some of this, it's not an insult. Bag and shoot to match. Your destiny is not matching your bank account. You are wearing both straight. Your life is not straight. Three hands set. Your mindset is distorted. You are wearing three piece suit and you don't have three story building. Six pack, you don't have six figure. It's to, it's to juggle your brain so that you will get angry with yourself, not with me. And get angry with your poverty and decide that I will not waste money again. Many of you have wasted so many opportunities that you are praying for God to give you the opportunity again. Many of you have made so much money when you were young. You made so much money but you had money without wisdom. Now, wisdom, pop, 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 pop. money is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Hello, but my God is changing your story. So, waste of money is a money problem. It's a money problem. Many of us waste money. We waste money, we spend money on irrelevant things. And let me say this again, please, I beg you. We keep saying it and we keep saying it. A prophet is not without honor, except in his own house. Many times, people don't appreciate what they have until they lose it by the grace of god by the grace of god the results are there of people that have read the school of money book and within a space of two three years they are operating in some dimensions of people that have listened and submitted to this grace and in a space of two to three four five years they are operating in dimension so your life cannot be an exception to the rule someone that i have known for almost 15 years sent me an email this week and i replied this email by the time he replied the mail again he was now telling me that in fact you are, you are right sir he said because of what i'm going through now i have had to now read the school of money for the first time for the first time and i discover all the foolishness of my life and i'm like i told my wife i said you know my guys why not people hear me i am your pastor i wrote a book you bought the book and you did not read and all your problems the answer to the problem is not on the mountain it's not in prayer points it's not in fasting the solution is on your shelf at home i went to ease myself during the service and i was telling pastor tubo i said i don't understand i said you know as a pastor some of these things are burdening in my heart i said i heard yesterday that we have not sold up to 100 memoir 100 but you put to you at 800 at 5000 so i was asking him because i just saw it on the something i didn't i didn't even know that i was still doing i said ah, that memoir i will still be talking memoir again my mama you know the 5000 have you bought memoir at this stage of my life some of these things are insultive to the grace of god for me to be standing on the program and be talking for 5000 have you bought memoir so i don't even know how to handle that one this morning i said so i will stand now again and be telling memoir hello I was already thinking that maybe it's a senior pastor that will come and do that one. Come back to me more. 5,000. We have not sold up to 100. And many of you, it is that memoir that will show you that where you are sitting in now is a miracle. 
And if God can turn a river to a cathedral, he can turn your life around. Some of you, it is that memoir that will show you how that all these things we are telling you, you met us in the days of the present glory. But where we are coming from is nothing to write home about. But see what God has done. But many of you don't know the magnitude of the miracle of where you are sitting because you don't have a sense of history. And God is giving you an opportunity to have a sense of history. Ordinary 5,000 you don't have. But if I come now, I was telling to myself, yeah, it's just that we have chosen that we want to follow God and do integrity. If, you, if I come now and say, Makidebo, don't share the spirit of the Lord as you take this memoir now within the next 24 hours, all of you will start buying. That is the foolishness of the church. You are looking for fake pastors that will deceive you. But we have not so learned Christ. We are not of them that follow the cunning defies fables of the wisdom of men. I am your pastor. And for some of you, I am your father. I will tell you the truth. Whether you listen or not, it's your choice. Did you not hear the Ezekiel or Kafuel Aroi? If a man is going astray, you tell him, if he change, fine. If he doesn't change, you have done your part. That's my responsibility, to tell you the truth. If you choose to obey, mm -mm, you choose not to obey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you see, many of us have now graduated to a level where your problem has been put in Keda. In those days when I started out, I used to fast for people. I used to go to people's house to do fasting. To do VG. Ah, that brother is going through trouble. Let's go. The people we are going to pray for. Now, ah, I sat down with Dr. Luca one day, years ago. I said, sir, why do you always give prayer points? I said, how can you be writing prayer points? 20 prayer, 50 prayer, 100 prayer. Mm, he just laughed. I said, then they will not be repeating the prayer. Repeating the prayer. I don't understand all these prayer points you are writing. Prayer points. He said, are you not repeating the Bible? He said, are you not repeating praise worship song? Yes, sir. I, I, I said, oh, wow. I said, yes, sir. He said, the reason why I'm doing this is because God gave me the inspiration that people are so lazy that the price they are supposed to pay for themselves, they want to queue in your office for you to pay the price. He said, so by the time they come, by the time I give you 100 prayer points, three days dry fasting, four days Fiji, by the time you finish praying the prayer, your answer will have come. So when they return to me, I will just seal it up with blessing. At the end of the day, they have paid the price that they did not want to pay. Hello? So me, I remember oh, pastor, I want to see what, oh, no problem. So you just do seven days. So I'm going to send you prayer points. Ah, you don't know. <laughs> I'm a deliverance minister. <laughs> I'm a one, we're for any. Seven days, give you prayer points. When you finish, you come and see me. It's me, you want to waste my time. Because, because you, <laughs> I'm telling you, because even if we pray, you will not believe in the prayer because it will be short. Father, let there be divine intervention. Do it, Lord, in Jesus' name. You'll be looking at us as a show them. As he, ah, is that all the prayer? You'll be expecting more. It's me that will spend one hour on you where you can't give one hour to evangelism. No. Hello? Number four, financial dishonesty is a money problem. Do you know how many money is in the bank that nobody can claim? Money that husband had a secret account. That wife is not aware. Wife has a secret account. That husband is not aware. Financial dishonesty. There was a controversy that happened late last year of a woman that was saving money with her mother. I don't know if you heard the story. Saving money with the, mon the mother has maybe like eleven or twelve, fourteen thousand dollars that the wife was saving with the mother, and the mother came to their house and they were owing house rent of four fifty. And the man was just saying, Mama, you know, don't worry. I'm just believing God. There are some things I've been waiting for. It has not happened, but God is... Ah. He said, ah, 450. Ah. Your wife get money with me, oh. Ah, I ain't go there. No, 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 no. How much did they do dollar now? Make I give you 2,000. Go pay rent now. Pay two years. Pay three years. Your wife get money with me now. And then the mother innocently called the daughter. Said, ah. Not the real name. She ne here. How you go get husband when you get problem? You owe money. I don't give your husband money. Oh. Make you pay rent for three years. You won't be homeless. And the woman was fighting the mother. How dare you? This is my money. You betrayed my trust. How can a woman have twelve to fourteen thousand dollars? And the husband cannot pay rent of four fifty. She cannot. But you see, if you look at it from outside, you will say she's a bad woman until you hear the full story. It's only those who know that know.
So don't judge what you don't understand. But I'm just letting you know there's so much financial dishonesty. A woman convinced the husband that they should pack out to a new house. That that new house is new house won't be repairing this, repairing that. They packed into the new house and they were paying rent. It was years later the husband discovered that the new house they pack into the wife is the landlady. Financial dishonest. I've told you of the man that said he work in oil company. Oh yeah, company. Say work in oil yeah, company. Few weeks to wedding, the chief bridesmaid saw him in Total Philly Station. He's a full attendant, and he called the. <laughs> he said, I thought he said your husband work in oil yeah, company. By the time the lady said. Ah, it's total, not oh yeah. So is it a lie or a truth? Only it's oil company now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you cannot judge people's hearts. Only God can do that. So when you say, "Where do you work?" Oh, I work in an oil company. Hey, it's oil company. You are the one that framed in your mind that oil company is uh, NBC is mobile. <laughs> so and if the guy too was setting you up, say if I tell her now, say now for attendant, you know you never know. Financial dishonesty is a major money problem number five absence of financial management and good investment plan is a money problem absence of financial management and good investment plan a lot of families don't sit down to plan their finances they don't even plan their finances. anything that has to do with money your money is our money my money is my money all these carnal worldly arrangements you know the amazing thing in nigeria when a husband is earning 250,000 and the wife is earning 100,000, the household budget will be based on 250. It's not supposed to be 350. 250 plus 100. But in Africa, when a man is earning 250 and the woman is earning 100, the entire budget of the house will be on that man's 250. As if he's the only one that should carry all the load. And the woman will hold a hundred and be looking beautiful, looking large, and be forming. Hey, you have not taken care of the you have not, which one are you going to take care of, madam? Hello? That's why we have a lot of men now with high blood pressure, hypertension, and stroke and erectile dysfunction. A lot of African men are carrying load that they can, they, are, they are frustrated because the load too much. Hello? The load is too much. Listen to me, listen. Are you ready for this? If the roles are reversed and the women can just carry all the load for a few months, there will be a change. Hello? There are families now where the man is irresponsible. The woman is the one carrying every load. House rent, school fees, and the man doesn't even care. Go and ask that woman how she's feeling. A couple relocated to UK. They have divorced now. It's less than one year. They relocated. The man sold everything, carried all of the, but the man is the one going to school. So if the man is going to school, doing 20 hours work, and the woman is the one doing full-time job, and the man is the one that paid for her nursing everything, now she's now making money, but she has to pay all the bills. Because the guy is a student. She didn't last four months. They, ah, come, we need to see that. I can't just be He said, but I have been spending it for 17 years. For 17 years, I've been mean, the school you went to, I pay for your school. So why can't you carry it for two years while I'm in school? Four months. Say, no, I have to take care of my family. I have to take care of this. And that. Ah, ah. One, <coughs> this life. <laughs> financial management, financial plan. Is there an investment plan for your family? You are giving birth to children. Have you opened an account for those children? Are you putting money in the account? If the day you gave birth to your child from naming ceremony, you open an account and you are putting 13,000 in that account every month. By the time your child wants to go to university, you will be leaving God for school fees. Hello? One of our pastors that relocated to Abuja, major guy in the banking sector, was is now a vice president in another major bank in um, in Abuja. 
one day and of course when they got there the crisis that came in with this outgoing administration dollar they, they were not paying them for like eight months i went to abuja one day he came to me say pastor a she a she a she i said what he said ah it's all those messages that you are giving us it's good to just be obeying you he said you told us one time that we should open an account for all our children they haven't even five five thousand ten ten thousand we should be going there he said that same week i have obeyed he said do you know that i have forgotten that they were just putting money there he said when everything was tied to pay school fees everywhere he said i got all oh, these accounts it is for school fees he said by the time we got there millions he said that's how we pay for all their school fees i even borrowed but many of you now you have children now ordinary accounts for your child to be putting one thousand you don't have and you are waiting for the same child to now grow up and come and take care of you what is wrong with us hello Open account if it's one one thousand, be put in there. But you know why you can't do that? When you are not tightening, the grace to let go will not be there. Because savings is like tightening. You are sending money to where you don't know. So when you are not ready to sow a seed, you are not ready to tight, you are not ready to give. That's why you are not giving to your future also. Oh, for I Because you have not opened yourself up to grace to let go. Because you want to chop the money. Na 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 na. How can I save twenty thousand when I need it? Na 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 na. You didn't know that you are releasing your future. Hello. So lack of what? Financial management and good investment plan. So in your family, you need to have accounts for your children. And be putting something there no matter how small every month. It can be a school account, it can be savings account, whatever. Check the financial sector in Nigeria and see what they have to offer. And then, you should also have an account for assets and investment for the family. So that as your wife is making money, you are making money, a percentage of that money, let's open that account to be for buying land, for building house. Because I have told you over and over again, to do 10 years wedding anniversary in a rented apartment is an error. Olumide Emmanuel translation. It's an error. Many of you are doing 18 years anniversary in the rented apartment and you are even fighting with other tenants. You met me here. I know when they married you here. You are not even ashamed. You are arrogant in your poverty. You are in a place for 18 years. You are doing chief, chief, chief title in a compound. Eh? As the landlord, I was the first tenant. I've been here since 1992. And you are not ashamed of yourself. Hello? Many of you have the money, but you don't have the wisdom. Many of you have the money, but you don't have the planning. It's not because the money is not available. It's because you are not planning for it. You plan on how many children you want to have. You plan, but you didn't plan on when to build a house. You didn't plan on going on holiday. If you plan on going on holiday, you will be saving money, even if it's at your 100k. Before you know it, you can travel to Ghana or go to South Africa or, go to, or even go to Budukatu Ranch and start local. Then local to global. Hello? Number six. Let me see if I can finish this so that we'll move on next week. Number six. Lack of proper management of your family bank is a money problem lack of proper management of your family bank every family is like a bank that has three assets every family is like a bank that has three assets and you need to know how to handle these three major assets in your family number one human capital how many people do you have in your family many of you have said this in over and over and over again you are giving birth to too many children how can you be giving birth to four children five children what's your problem if you love children so much there are many orphans go and adopt them and stop wasting it. and the women we carry belly carry belly look in those days there are women here that have eight children nine eleven they are here some of our mamas but if you look at them they are still looking normal try it with a modern day woman i'm a fussy way when as they born one born two they are already breaking down so you are destroying the strength and the energy of your wife why because you are making her to go through the rigor of having to give birth to multiple children stretch the thing come back again stretch and come back again stretch and come back again and then maybe it's cecilia cecilia one cecilia two cecilia three and if you die now you go remarry hello so number one is human capital don't have too many children i say these things it looks controversial it is controversial but sometimes it is experience that if you refuse to learn by revelation you learn by experience a pastor called me yeah february i think i've told the story already he called me and now he has five children 
this guy was coming to our minister's conference here when he had only two. And Ejekashi can see, Ejekashi can see, let's do one more. And he used his mouth to confess. He said, one of the reasons why I stopped coming to the minister's conference is that sometimes the way you just say some of these things, I'm like, what the, the, uh, uh, you know, and come and follow more. You know, Yoruba people are very terrible people. I'm not a Yoruba man, no. no. I'm a kingdom man from Abekuta in Ogu State. And come and follow more. Malut, Niru. Are you a cow? Sometimes when we say some of this, we are not even thinking. Come on, say it's not come on. Oh, no. Malu, are you a Malu? You will not give birth to children. You are, they will not leave you with the trouble. After they have eaten your food in Nemi, you are on your own. So this man is calling me now. Five children. They are about to enter university. No money. He's even a full-time pastor. So double tragedy. And I told him, I owe this. I said, sit all of them down. Education is not compulsory. Sit them down. And have a family meeting. And let them know I'm your father. Is your mother? This is who we are. We can't go and steal. So school, we can't pay. So what is your vision? What is your dream? Let them tell you their dream and vision. You can also, you can achieve it without university. So if your vision is this, go to this academy. So I gave him counsel on what to do because many times, you see, when you are borrowing money for year one, and the guy, you know, <laughs> we had a meeting yesterday, and one of the delegates, one of our pastors, was talking about their child has gotten admission and they have now had to withdraw the guy from admission because if they have to leave him in that admission to pursue the other one the money will not be enough to pay for the so come back first let's keep this money so that when we get the other one another one said oh and that one wants to go and read mercy you no know, that's seven years or six to seven years another one said oh my child we're trusting god for her to get admission the school we want her to go to is five million i said times seven and that's if the five million is they say six. You don't have any idea how expensive it is to raise children. So all those ones are just getting pregnant every year as if you are trying to win a war. Something is wrong, man. There is a spirit that wants to destroy your family destiny and give you a load that you will carry till you die. Many of you are not even enjoying your marriage. All your discussion is school fees, school fees, school fees, school fees. You spend 20 years of your marriage raising children that will forget you after. That's what is causing all this mother-in-law problem. You now feel entitled that I have spent 20 years. Right? If this not this breast that you saw, I sent it to school. You now feel entitled. When the children now grow up and get married to want to start their life, you are now forcing them to return. Because you have missed something along the way. Every child you give birth to is minus 15 years. Every time you give birth to your last born, add 25 years to your age. That's why you'll be free. Hello? So think up, think up. So at 70, you want to be going for a PTA meeting. It looks like laughter, but these are the realities. These are the realities. I'm looking for a boy. I have only girl. I'm a big girl. I've been, I'm a, I've been boiling girl. If you have two boys, you already have two girls that will marry them. If you have two girls, you already have two boys that will marry them. They are in another person's house. Include them in your prayer and in your planning. Don't give birth to children you cannot take care of. The second aspect of your family bank is intellectual capital. Is what? Intellectual capital. That talks about the education and the development of those humans. So what is your plan for the education of your children? What is your plan? Listen to me. Where your ancestors has failed you, you cannot afford to fail your descendants. A child that is saying, Ah, daddy, mom, where are you when your mate are making money? You have started your own journey. If they told you now that at 42, you can't afford the plot of land, will you believe? Now, so your papa start up. Now, he doesn't start so. Hello? But when you have too many children, it will reduce the quality of life you can give to them. You want to travel, but you can't travel. When you think of tickets, you and your wife plus four children, that's time six. Are you a share out there in the airline industry? <laughs> Hello? So, the word intellectual capital. When you give your children the best level of exposure and education, it gives them the leverage. Listen to me. The school they go to determines who they grow up with. 
The school they go to determines their friends. The school they go to may end up determining who they marry. The school they go to determines the opportunities that are available to them. So, whether you like it or not, when there is no money, you are left with the bottom of the ladder. They will still go to school. They will still pass, but they may not have a network. They may not have a connection that will give a leverage. Because in this life, it's what you know plus who you know that determines how far you go. So they may be very intelligent, very cerebral, but they don't have network. Whereas those that don't have enough brain like that, that have network, can make a phone call. I say, oh, my boy, ah, no, 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 my boy, my boy, my boy. And that's sorted out. And then inferior people will rule over you. Because they had the network of old school mates, old school association that you don't have because you went to school in a village. Finally, number seven, and I close. Covenant disorder is a money problem. Covenant disorder. We are in church, so we can't spend too much time on you. already know. Many of you, you heard the testimony. She doesn't pay tithes. Now she's paying. Somebody that came in less than five, six months is not only paying tithes, but she's buying rice. For people and you, you were here when they were talking of the rice. The only thing going through your mind is for you to collect, not to be one of those that will. That will. So God will help you. So me, I'm not selling memoir. Go and buy if you want to buy. God bless you. See. Praise the Lord. You know. <laughs> Whenever Pastor finishes this way, I just laugh on my seat. I'm like, <laughs> this is just a different level. Um, it's offering time now. Please. Um, if you're paying your tithe, or if you're giving your tithe, Please, can you lift it up? Let's pray on it. If you haven't got an envelope, please signify to the ushers. 